So my last release of a video was the Xiaomi 13T and the camera performance. Link in the description where you can check that out and by the way thank you for how well it is doing so far. I appreciate that. When it comes to however comparing it with phones, I got some questions comparing it to the Mi 11 Ultra which will come but today the comparison is with the big brother, the Xiaomi 13 Pro. So let's look at the comparison between the Xiaomi 13T and the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Well the Xiaomi 13 Pro will definitely win. There are some things that I really like about the 13T, including the much lower price than the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Either way, let's jump into the video and talk about the comparison between these two. By the way, don't forget to check out conceptscreatorcom shop if you want to, and you can buy some of my shots. I would really appreciate it, but of course never a must. But either way, check it out, link in the description and pinned on the comments. Let's continue the video. Now before we start talking about results, let's quickly look at specifications for the camera setup for both the Xiaomi 13T and the Xiaomi 13 Pro. Let's start with the Xiaomi 13T. We get a 50 megapixel main sensor with a 1.9 aperture and it's 24 millimeters equivalent. The sensor size is 1 over 128 inches. We get a 50 megapixel telephoto with a 1 over 288 inch sensor size and an f-stop of 1.9 and then we get a 12 megapixel ultra wide with an f-stop of 2.2 and a sensor size of 1 over 306. When it comes to video recording, max is 4K and 30 frames per second and of course it does support HDR10+. When it comes to the Xiaomi 13 Pro, we get a 50.3 megapixels main sensor. This is of course the 1 inch sensor with a 1.9 aperture and 23 millimeters equivalent. When it comes to the telephoto, we get a 50 megapixel setup yet again with an f-stop of 2.0 and 75 millimeters equivalent. When it comes to the ultra wide, we get a 50 megapixel sensor with a 2.2 f-stop, 40 millimeters equivalent. For video recording, up to 8K and 24 frames per second, but of course it also supports 4K and 60 frames per second. So while showcasing some results, I quickly want to give my own input when it comes to the Xiaomi 13T and the difference with the Xiaomi 13 Pro here. Normally I don't really do this and I want to give your own judgment to it, but I feel like I need to comment a little bit here. When it comes to the Xiaomi 13T, I definitely noticed that it goes for a more warm profile compared to the Xiaomi 13 Pro that goes for the more realistic profile. This is noticeable in low light but also in daytime photography. Also the ultra wide is significantly better on the 13 Pro. The ultra wide simply put is the weak sensor on the Xiaomi 13T. So if you really like ultra wide photography, I don't think this is the sensor for it. When it comes to video recording also I noticed that it does sharpen quite a lot more than the Xiaomi 13 Pro. This is not details, this is sharpening. Sharpening doesn't equal details and I'm not the biggest fan of this. Either way, let's put on some music and show results of the two differences between what they both do in terms of camera performance.
Now before we end this video, I quickly want to mention something else that I really noticed while using the fun. I really like how you get that circular zoom effect when it comes to the Xiaomi 13T. Swipe up and you just get this circular effect that allows better control than a horizontal line, at least for my own opinion. When it comes to the software implementation where I don't feel like it's better, it's for instance switching between Leica Vibrant and Leica Authentic. This I feel like is done better on the Xiaomi 13 Pro, simply because you have to confirm which one you want to pick. So the Xiaomi 13T and the Xiaomi 13 Pro, how do the cameras stack up at the end? Well I think that the Xiaomi 13T does a decent job. Comparing it to the 13 Pro is always of course a big task for a phone that is quite a bit cheaper than it. But when it comes to the 13 Pro and the 13T, the biggest difference that I notice is for one of course the sharpening in video, but also low light and the ultra wide. Here the Xiaomi 13 Pro clearly has a head start and it won't be beaten by the 13T, because simply put, this is a much lower priced phone, so don't expect it to do all of a sudden as well as the Xiaomi 13 Pro. With that being said, if you love daytime photography and don't use the ultra wide too much for video, then I think that the Xiaomi 13T does a very representable job compared to some other phones around the price as well. I love the styles, I love what they can do with the camera itself, I love the Leica collaboration between the two as well. This is something that I enjoy. The enjoyment when it comes to the Xiaomi 13T and the photography side of it is there, which is important. Again, of course it's not going to compete with a proper DSLR, but when it comes to a phone for this price, I think they've done a good job and I think they've done something that represents the price itself maybe a little bit above it either way the xiaomi 13t has done a good job but it won't beat the xiaomi 13 pro which is not surprising but still for the price it's done an excellent job either way hope you enjoyed this video and of course don't forget to check out conceptscreatorcom shop where you can buy some shots that i've taken it's one euro for a shot that i've taken with a phone 150 for one that i've taken with my proper dslr let me know what you think about those prices but Every person that buys one really helps out with, of course, trying to get these better shots in different locations and just explore more. Because that's at the end what I feel like a camera needs to be about. Exploring, taking trips. Either way, check the link in the description. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and everything. I'll talk to you guys in the next.